Another day back at SOS. We're checking up on the C8 Corvette. I'm gonna check up with you guys on the Lambo because some changes have been made. And then I get to show you guys the new car we bought. Okay, let's get into it. Buenos dias, mijo. How are you this morning? How are you doing? Dylan, nice to yeah. see you. How are you doing? Oh, I had my uh, Lord's Chicken today, so I'm <laughs> feeling very whole. You had the Lord's Chicken? Yeah, I got the number five with uh, the bacon, egg, and cheese with the spicy chicken. You didn't ask me. It's because you got here, you're, you're here on, on, on TJ time. <laughs> what? Half past the head. <laughs> you look a little like thugged out with that arm, man. Please put long sleeves on, working, please. You like that? Yeah, you're gonna get pulled over. Is it I look, do I look too like? Kind of does, you know. Thank you. The white boy in me yeah. kind of fizzles I, out I, when you see I, that. Exactly. I see you building the racetrack at home, and like <laughs> the bro, inner bro is coming out. <laughs> Next up, you're gonna be wearing the S I H. And the oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have big high socks, <laughs> flat bill. This looks really good. We get there, we get there. Awesome. Getting there, getting there. Still missing the stupid diffuser, but this is kind of the first time we get to see it with the wing on. I don't want to show too much. This thing's coming back next week. The Corvette needs a few more changes, then our final molds will be made. You guys don't get to see our diffuser quite yet, but it's coming together. And if it doesn't come together as fast as you want, there's only really one person in this world you can blame. And, it, and it's me. It's me. It's coming soon, I promise. But in the meantime, I want to show you what the work they've done on the Uricon because, oh, he doesn't want me to show that either. We got put together and we got the new front tires swapped out. The two, the front tires we had in the front were too big, so we have skinnier ones now. They've got the new wing stance. It's looking better. The rear bumpers all together. Don't want to show you guys too much yet because this video isn't about this car, but I just want you guys to know it's coming along. It's going smooth. Kind of. If you guys really want uh, TJ to go to TJ, they don't know what that means. They do. They, they're going to find out. Only the people in maybe Southern <laughs> California know what going to TJ means or know. I'm not going to say that. I just want. Right. You got to understand. This, this, okay, what's like an average? 95% of people who watch this video don't live okay, here. So they don't fine. even know what that means. So we have to show them. Okay, what is the average like on your video? I don't know. Like Average like what? 17 or 18,000. 17 or 18,000. If we can, if we can reach twenty thousand, okay, that's not high enough that's at not. all. Why not? Some videos hit twenty. Okay. Without... All right, let's say what if we hit twenty five thousand? Okay. Okay. But 20, they don't 000. know what going to TJ means. That's what we're gonna show them. <laughs> TJ and TJ, that's like the, that's the vlog title right there. For those who don't know what going to TJ means, it's a place in Mexico right across the border where the laws are a lot different than they are in the United States. Sure people and people know love to what go. TJ is. People know. Okay, it means Tijuana. Famous. Yeah. If this video gets 25,000 likes, me and TJ are gonna take a trip to TJ and we're gonna vlog the whole thing. <laughs> It's really awesome to see progress on the C8. I know that project has taken quite a long time, but to be honest, we're really trying to perfect this kit so when it comes out, there are no discrepancies, there's no issues, and we wanna have it to be seamless. Each project that we start with Street Hunter, we learn just a little bit more, and we try to apply all those things that we learned on the last project to the new project, so I'll keep you guys updated when that thing is coming together, and my C8's coming back soon. There's a lot of things I'm not telling you guys, and trust me, it's for the better. We just left SOS, now we're headed to Hunt Company, because we're gonna pick up some new stuff that just dropped, and I wanna show you guys all the new products that we just added to the website. So as you guys know, we're giving away Mali 2.0, that's the red BRG that we turboed, and that you guys just saw earlier that's getting painted right now. And for everyone who supported the Brain Cancer Awareness t-shirts for Sabrina, I wanna say thank you. Those t-shirts are officially closed, and they're no longer available for purchase, but we have just restocked all of the t-shirts and the sweatshirts that were sold out. They're now back in stock on the website, so those are all available and these items right here just got added to the website and these are cheaper alternatives if you're trying to grab some entries let's go over it really quick jet tags have been out of stock for a long time so we decided to hit heavy and we brought back the original red og jet tag but because you guys have so much love for this we brought it back in a bunch of colorways this one we used to have for miley this is a brand new color for all the boys who love the s2000 days this is the same suzuki blue then we added a british racing green for the lambo of course we got the og original then you got black and you got the purple. We brought back the Keep Moving Forward jet tag, so you got the slant logo on the front, and on the back side, you got Keep Moving Forward. We added this in a couple fun colorways. Look, we brought the uh, Lambo with the British Racing Green and the bronze satin champagne finish. That's a pretty cool color combo. So you got some fun alternatives here for some color options. So for the boys who like the jet tags, you got plenty of options. Those are live right now. The air fresheners 
I showed you guys last week. These are all in stock on the website. Not only do you get amazing smell, but you also get amazing packaging. So I don't know, keep that boys and pin it on your wall. We're hitting you guys with two new slant rubber keychains. These are good to put on your backpack or zippers or suitcases, anything like that. These shorts have been Easter eggs in the vlog for the past like month or so and they're finally live. I'm wearing them right now. These are my favorite shorts ever. They have great pockets. They have a big thick elastic waistband so they don't fall off. And they're just amazing and they're light and they're the best shorts ever. So pick these up if you're looking for shorts. This is my hat I've been wearing for about a month or so. They just got added. So you have the five panel trucker hat and then you also have the boys who wanted the six panel flat bills that you can shape yourself. So these are two different style hats, two different shapes. So those just got added and we restocked all of the t-shirts and sweatshirts on the site. The giveaway is only live for less than a month now. We're coming up to the end. So if you wanna grab your entries, click the links down below, do your shopping, pick up something, and also win a car while doing it. Not a bad deal. So if you guys watch every vlog, You'll remember that we recently went to this hidden pond that we had near my house. And in this pond, we were told that there was a bunch of catfish and bass, and there was this little mini dock. And there used to be a little paddle boat there that you could go on and kind of go to the middle and like drop a line and go fishing. Well, in that vlog, I told you guys if you guys wanted to see me and Danny go fishing there and go and get a boat to let us know in the comment section down below. And there was an underwhelming response of nobody saying that. But <laughs> Danny and I wanted to do it so bad that I'm actually on the way to go buy a little boat right now. Now don't get your hopes up. When I say buy a boat, a boat is a bold term for what I'm going to buy right now. We found something on the internet that was at this local store and it's essentially like a kid's rowboat but you pedal with your feet type of thing. It's ridiculous. It's relatively cheap. It's 600 bucks but for $600 we're going to put a boat out there and tie it to the dock and everyone in the neighborhood gets to use it and so do we and we really want to put a boat on that. So all I'm telling you guys is no one wanted to see it and we're gonna make a vlog about going in this pond and hopefully we don't sink and we're gonna try and fish and probably none of you guys wanna watch that. But we're gonna do it right now. We found a boat. I'm gonna go buy it. We're gonna put it back in the truck and head home. All right, we're in the middle of nowhere right now at a store called Tractor Supply. Looks like they sell tractors but apparently they got the Pelican. We're, we're, we're coming for the Pelican boys. Hmm, this must be where Whistling Diesel shops. Ladies and gentlemen, I found a Danny and I found our boat. <laughs> Here she is. Get a little test fit, Dan. Go go tell me how she feels. Oh yeah. This, 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 it looks, dude, you got cup this holders is how you and you got pole holders. Technically you could fit two other people back here. I read reviews that that doesn't work well, but I'm down to put Kevin in the back as our test subject. This pops up as an awning. How heavy do you think it is? Not heavy, it's all made out of plastic. Yeah, pole holder. Man, this is oh, sick. dude, she's super dude, light. This is a big ass thing for a uh, cooler. Did we put our live bait? Oh, here's the steering thing. The, the oar. What are they called? I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything yeah. about boats. I don't know if this is really considered a boat. I guess it's a boat. It floats, right? Oh, look, there's handles, so you can just. Dude, dude. Oh, dude, she's not even that heavy. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go get someone. We'll bring the truck back here, Dan, or we can go single. Nah. I agree. I mean, do, if we go down, we go down together. This so much better. The singles? But that this is- This is an experience. That is so much more fun. In the awning. It's gonna be Dude, so funny. okay. We're gonna pick this up, boys. We'll, we'll find, we'll find a way. Will it perfect? You want me to use it? Go like that, yeah. Okay, we have the boat in the back right now. It's held down with one strap by the plastic handle. I don't wanna say it's a little sketchy, but we have Danny driving behind me with like a considerable gap, just in case the boat flies out and falls out the back of the truck and lands on the street. Danny can be behind me to stop traffic before someone <laughs> hits the boat. We're only like 15 minutes away from the house. I think we should be fine. Okay, the boat made it safe and sound happy to see that it got here now i've made you guys wait this whole entire video to find out what the new car was now some of you guys probably saw this coming i've been telling you guys for a while maybe you thought i was joking maybe maybe you believed in me now the car that we got i've already kind of been using it just off camera the car that we got was the brand new 
Polaris XP. Oh! She's so dirty. I, we looked at this one uh, a while ago, actually. We looked at two different Pro XPs. This Pro XP I liked the best because it was pretty much the stealth black and it has this really cool navy blue type of, I don't even know if it would be navy blue. It's more of like a, it's like a pastel blue and I absolutely love it. This one is decked out out of all the players lineup. My absolute favorite one. It's filthy. We've been, we've, we've been using it a lot on the track. Actually, here's a clip of Blake Wilkie sending it on a test jump. This thing is so capable. Now one thing that it came with that I actually want to get a lot of feedback from you guys in the comments for those that are in the Polaris world. I've had a lot of friends say, hey, the first thing you need to do is put a cage, seats, and harnesses. Seats and harnesses I really want to do, especially, when, especially with all the jumps we're going to be doing, we want to be safe. But this thing came with a pro armored cage. I asked Blake and I asked a few other my friends who are in the world. They said this cage is not bad. Definitely could be upgraded. And with the type of stuff we're going to be jumping this on, I might need to get a new cage. But it is a pretty nice beefy built-in cage. It is aftermarket. It's not the stock cages. Those ones are crap. But other than that, this thing is stock, and I absolutely love it, and I don't think we're going to be doing that many mods to it. Blake said these things are so capable stock, and you really don't need to touch anything on this except maybe putting some light bars on, maybe a larger speaker system. What about some HREs? Do they, do they go on? I don't think the HREs are going to go on this one, Dan. If, hey, if HRE made wheels for this, I'd definitely put HREs on it. Yeah, probably. Actually, this just does have have height adjustment because this has the dynamic suspension so when you put it in comfort sport and firm you actually get different ride heights tons of storage for all the things we're not going to be storing in here but the coolest thing with this center console you have the touch screen you have a mapping system you have all the different gauges you'd want to pull up and you have telescoping steering wheel there's super nice seats you have all the four by four options and you have the light the headlight options i know a lot of you guys probably don't know too much about the off-road world and neither do i and that's the beauty of it because we're going to be diving into this together i've been obsessed with this thing i've been hiding it from you guys for almost five days now and i'm glad to finally show you i didn't want to show it to you because I wanted to trick you guys into thinking we didn't buy it because you probably thought I would have showed it to you right when we started the track, but no, I tried tricking you. I don't know if it worked. We'll get into that in just a little bit. We need to take this boat out. Out on the water. We set sail tomorrow. Today. The wind is a little too hectic today. Mm. The water is gonna be choppy. Yeah, the wind is the wind is extreme today. I think we're looking at uh, half a knot here. <laughs> Dude, that's, it's actually looking kind of, I, I was only here first day and it looks like, a lot crazier now. The track is, you gotta have a set of cojones, cause you got, mm, sub 40 foot, you have a nice little roller section, you got big step ups over there, you got a big like 60 foot step up in the back. Yeah, it's getting pretty hectic. I'll show you boys the track in just a little bit. Before we hit the open water tomorrow, hey, easy on the, on the thing. We're gonna do a test float. No, you go in with your shoes, you trust the Pelican. Well, I was gonna. You trust her, Dan. Here, get her off the step. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she could. Oh. oh God, the <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, it looks great. Mm -hmm. Hey, come pick me up, huh? You want to pick up? Yeah, come swoop me, dog. Oh, you can just move over. Let me test out this guy. Oh! Oh! Dude, nothing. What? Nothing. How does that even happen? Check <laughs> out that power. Okay, hold up. All right. Uh, we couldn't even go over. I don't know. No, we, we were over no, the edge. No, we were like six inches down. Yeah, you're gonna put us in the wall, Dan. Oh! Dude, like this? Throw it in the old rod holder? Dude. Pick up a little Bruce toy, yes? Oh, you guys. <laughs> Bro, this thing is sick. Jump in for the boys? Oh. Come on. Here's a, you should drift this thing. I don't want to oh, hit the We gotta go back. Backwards. All right, now we go for it. I think you're going off. Oh. Here's the Oh, is this a little wall top? All right, consensus, Dan. Tough to steer. 
but it's gonna be a time of our life. As long as she floats, I'm okay with that. And then look, in the back, you have a, uh, well one, look at this awning we have for all the shade we're gonna need. But two, you can put put some ice in the back, put a couple of drinks, maybe, maybe some this snacks. Li live well for all the fish we catch. We can put some water <laughs> here and watch them flip around. And then look, you have enough for like, you know, your, you, I mean these are seats, but you could put extra things back here. Four cup holders. I know, I know you love your cup holders. There's four of them in this. You know, I meant to tell you the real reason why I got yeah. this is because I saw it had four cup holders. This could be your best vehicle yet. <laughs> Danny said when it's just one person in there trying to steer, it's way better. So Danny's confident. Give me a little wall tap over here, Dan. Oh, come on. Give me more angle, bud. <laughs> Can he get it? Uh-oh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude, that's as perfect as you can get without actually hitting the wall. That was actually pretty impressive. <laughs> Josh wants to give us a little overview of the track. We're gonna go over some lines and just kind of scope it out. And I want to show you boys all the progress that we've done. Josh has been putting in so much work, a ridiculous amount of work. So remember that step up that I kind of showed you guys he was working on? Well, it's it's finished and it's absolutely massive. I had him do some alternate changes to the landing just in case someone comes up short, it's a little bit less aggressive. But I mean, that's like, this is almost like two story tall, the top of this lip. So you have a back section that goes in the wash and comes up. You have a huge step up and then you have an alternative line. I'll have to show you guys in the razor because you kind of can't really tell the line. The lap, hold the camera. Maybe we might have to. So this is what I haven't seen yet. So we just added in an alternative line that's less aggressive than hitting I mean, if you just look at that, the camera doesn't do it justice, but that's huge. I know there's gonna be some guys that are like moto guys and they say that's not big. But let me tell you, on a razor, that's pretty big. Even Blake was like, that's definitely big. It's an all or nothing type of jump. This is what I thought we were gonna do on the big step right, up. Right. So this is, we got a little bit. yeah, we definitely. Out of material. It's about all we can do to just change the transition of the hillside just a little bit so we're not moving too much material at all. Yeah, so this one is a, this is technically another step up. This is maybe like a little less, a little more than half the size of the other one. But rather than having a big gap like that step up, it's more of a tabletop. So if you come up short or you want to work your way up to it, you don't have to go a full send. And then it kind of lands a little bit flat and then you go straight into another tabletop. And we also, if we really wanted to, on that big step up, you could plow the dirt from, up from this whole tabletop and fill that section at least a little bit or yeah. make it a little more of a slant. We so if, just blend it to where you, you would just be jumping uphill to jumping flat. uphill and then there's no big gap it's so hard to show you guys all the alternative lines because we don't we're not we're on a drone up right now and from this perspective it's crazy but here's another like pit bike lane you can come here this house it obviously hasn't finished yet and then you can land through rather than taking the big kicker or the small kicker Straight and out. then you can hit that tabletop so a lot of this stuff too is for pit bikes so we try to make lanes that if you don't have a big 250 or 450 or a razor and you have just the pit bikes there's alternative mini routes you could take it's one of the shortcuts rather than taking the big berm let's go around the outside go towards the low kicker and high kicker lane and then you can cut through this inside you hasn't been built yet you can come through here and then slip up as we get closer to this berm i hope you guys get a sense of how big it really is i mean if you're at the bottom of it it's at least maybe seven eight foot and it's obviously not groomed yet it's not done yet but it's <laughs> yeah it's it is huge so whether you're on the bike or you're on the razor you'll be able to come in here tons of speed carry it down the rhythm section we're just gonna follow the track a little bit and kind of show the layout we're not gonna hit anything because not everything's ready yet but we want at least this feel it out
That one shook me a little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> He's got to commit on those ones. Yeah. Dude, you need to get the speed dialed in, but I was going down one of the doubles and came up so short and dug the nose so deep. I know, I saw that. Blake was like, you really need to get insurance on this thing. So before we break something too easy, I don't know if... Uh, no damage done. Dude. I don't know, dude. And, that, and that's exactly why you don't want that big bowl guard on the front of these things. The that tires keep, up, they keep out a little bit Did further than the Did nose. No, it didn't hurt at all. Nice. So with the way that these things are around, they'll just, you'll just flip over around like that and then land back on all fours. Oh yeah, great. Back. Let's just keep flipping. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it still drives straight after that one. We'll have to figure it out. I don't know the threshold with this, but Blake was like, dude, you can't hurt them. I mean, for the most part. I mean, you can't, but it like, scare me, though. yeah, I, yeah, I scared you a little bit. <laughs> you had that double clear. That was pretty But when I just tried right now, I went and hit it. And obviously the camera wasn't rolling, but I came up short. You got to like, what's going to be tough is you have to really figure out your speed to hit everything. Yeah, and it's just going to take a long time. I'm around that corner high, which now that I've seen the flow on everything, once I dial it all in and get it all cleaned up, it won't feel like anything because you'll come in high off of that big Talladega turn. <laughs> and come into those doubles. Yeah. And with the, the consistent speed, it'll be the same hit every time. Boom. Yeah. Atta boy. That was smooth. Oh dude, these things are dangerous. I Okay, I just really thought I wasn't wearing a helmet with that. We're cutting it. I should've been wearing a helmet. I'm so sorry. All right, Josh just flattened out this tabletop because we were nose diving a little bit too much. And then I think he adjusted the lip on the step up. So I'm gonna test him out right now. I got my helmet. Kevin's gonna film it. Here we go. Oh, that just looks insane. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Give her the juice, Teach. Oh! Yeah, that was pretty smooth. Oh. 